we're now going to graph equations using point plotting. And so the basic idea behind this is that in point plotting we want to pick one variable, typically x but not always, and solve for the other. And then that's going to give us an xy point which we can plot and then we can connect the dots to get the shape of the graph. So we're going to start with two straightforward examples. We're going to start with a linear equation to start with, y equals minus 2x plus 4. And because it's linear, we're only going to pick a couple of points. It's really nice to make sure we can find the shape of the graph. So we're going to pick for our x minus 2, 0, and 2. That way we have a negative x, a 0, and a positive x. And so we plug these in. When we plug these in, we get y equals minus 2 times minus 2 plus 4. Minus 2 times minus 2 is 4. 4 plus 4 is 8. So I can plug in 8 right here. For my next one, we get y equals minus 2 times 0 plus 4, which is 0 plus 4, and we get 4. Our last one, we're going to plug in 2 plus 4, and minus 2 times 2 is minus 4, minus 4 plus 4 is 0. So our three points are minus 2, 8, 0, 4, and 2, 0. So when we go to graph these, Let's go out 2 and 2, and let's go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have all the tick marks we need. We then put a point at minus 2, 8, because that was one of the points we found. At 0, 4, because that was another one. And the last one at 2, 0. And with these three, and keeping in mind that this is a linear equation, so it's a straight line, the line in the, the word linear helps us remember that, we can draw our straight line like so, and we just say, hey, this just keeps continuing along this direction. And we've now graphed y equals minus 2x plus 4. Now, an interesting point to make is how we chose the minus 2, the 0, and the 2. And a lot of the times, it doesn't matter, but you want to be able to pick points that make it easy to solve and give nice integers. And so I picked minus 2, 0, and 2 because they're fairly spread out. And because minus 2 in front of the x is a, an integer, not a fraction, I can pick anything I want. But if it was a fraction, say if I were to look at y equals 1 half x plus 2, I'm going to want to make sure I pick x's that are multiples of 2. And for 2, of course, that's easy. We just make sure we pick even numbers. But we want to pick multiples of the bottom number so that the fraction goes away, and then we get our integers out of it. Okay, the next example I want to show is a little bit more complicated, because we're going to change it. Let's have x equal y squared. Since the x is solved for, this means we want to pick y's and then find the x, because the y is the complicated piece. So we're going to change things up, and because it's a y squared, we're going to pick a few more values. Let's pick minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, and 2. And again, we're just going to let x equal our value that we picked and squared. And minus 2 squared is, of course, 4. And then x equals minus 1 squared, which is 1. And x equals 0 squared, which is 0. And x equals 1 squared, which is 1, and x equals 2 squared, which is 4. And I tend to basically double whatever the highest power is and add 1 to figure out my points. And I want to try and find the spot that it turns around, and that's real easy in this case. We're going to plug in 0, because as you notice, as I go up and down from the 0, it matches. Now, keep in mind that our point points are at 4 minus 2. 1 minus 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, and 4, 2. 
And so we're going to go up to down to, because those are the extremes that we found, and one over one, two, three, four. We plot our points. They're zero, zero. One, one, and one minus one. And then four, two, and four minus two, and we get a graph that basically looks like this. And this then shows us everything that we need. Again, remember the key point of point plotting is you get to pick the values for one variable to solve for the other. The other key point is that you can always use point plotting no matter what your equation looks like, and it will help you find the points that you're looking for.